All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. We are inside today because we're talking a lot about storing figs, what I'm doing with them, and honestly, the incredible quality that I've been able to achieve this year. You can see a lot of the fresh figs that I've already harvested for the last few weeks. We've been putting them on these trays. And I actually, in the past, what I like to do is cut them in half Put them skin side down like this one here. Make sure that this tray and the fig itself and the wax paper is totally dry. And I'll put them just like that. And then once the top st starts to dry, then I'll flip them. And that way the bottom, the skin side, can get totally dry. And so what you end up with is a very, very high quality fig that is incredible. It tastes like a dried fig, but better they dry slowly rather than having them dry quickly because they're in the fridge it's a drier environment in here but it's uh, stable enough so that these don't really spoil they don't really ferment or mold assuming you do exactly what i just mentioned now i've been doing the full figs as well the i haven't even been cutting them just kind of placing them properly trying to make sure that they're dry they're not uh, touching each other that much they're not wet and i end up with seriously it's even transforming the totally um, uncut figs so just the total fig as it was it's transforming these into something even more special um, now let's say you don't have this good of quality just yet what I've been doing instead is we did some canning. So this is just some figs in syrup, but a one to two ratio of water to sugar. Um, so two parts sugar, one part water. Uh, just make sure you keep them in the fridge. You can also freeze them. And so that's something else I've done where I canned them and then froze them. We can always thaw them for a later date. I also have figs in here that are frozen. We'll get to that at some later point because uh, there's some interesting things you can do with frozen figs. Now, a lot of people like to just freeze them and then make them into jam or process them in some way at a later date, but you don't have to do that. I think um, this is going to be something interesting that I'm going to experiment with and we'll see what, what it turns into. But um, yeah, that, these are pretty much all the ways that I store them is I either dry them in a dehydrator or dry them slowly like this. And then of course I have jam. We can can them. And lastly, um, you can freeze them. Um, now I'll say this just to end this video real quick. The lower quality figs go into, go into the jam or go into the canning process. The higher quality figs that I want to eat fresh, I will put here. These are the ones that typically are the most ripe. They uh, come from in-ground trees. They've been, you know, really gone through drier periods of weather. Um, and so they're already almost on the tree on the way to being dried at this point. But the figs that are just not that ripe, and I have to pick them early, maybe we're getting some rain, whatever it is, I don't like to eat those because I am so spoiled at this point by this that you see here that I will almost not eat them because I know how incredible these are. And so I just end up favoring certain trees and certain varieties, even though I'm harvesting hundreds of figs. Uh, and because you can only eat so many figs in a day. So that's where the, uh, the ones that are just not as good, that's where they go. And that's what I would recommend, freezing them, canning them, making them in a jam, and then save these here that have the higher quality for, for actually drying them like this. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. We'll see you for the next video. All right, guys, take care.